Hi everyone, it's Dave again with Holiday for Two. Now my first video was a campground review of White Spar Campground near Prescott, Arizona. So I thought and thought and thought, what should I do for my second one? And there was a spot that we really loved to go to. It was called Buckskin Mountain State Park. It's near the Colorado River between Parker and Lake Havasu. And I think you're going to really like this one. If you like to fish or you like to have a boat that you want to put in the water or you just want to sightsee, it'll be a great spot for you. So let's take a look at Buckskin Mountain State Park. Here we go. I'm hoping I can take a holiday and spend some time with you. Trying hard to take some time away and have a peaceful day or two. So someday when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. Buckskin Mountain State Park, 11 miles north of Parker, Arizona. I really like this campground. We went there last March and the weather was perfect. Now according to the website, there are 80 campsites available, a mixture of RV and tent sites. All sites have 30 amp hookup and there are 15 sites that also have sewer available for an extra fee. Now according to the website, there is no limit to the maximum RV link. That's kind of cool. If you have a big rig, you can get them in here easy. There is also a boat ramp. And if you have a boat, you can launch your boat right there. Just start in Parker, Arizona. Follow Highway 95 North, about 11 miles north of Parker. And then you're going to make a left and head down to Buckskin Mountain State Park. This is a common area where people can come picnic for the day. Or if you're camping there, you can also use that. In the summertime, this is a very popular place for people to come and swim in the Colorado River. But just be warned, it does get hot in the summertime. Highs can run anywhere from 110 to 115 in June and July, so it's a little bit hot. But the water would be great, wouldn't it? Mm -mm -mm. And if you have a boat, boating is great. You can travel up and down the river for miles all the way down to Parker or go north to the dam. Just beautiful. When we went there, we found a couple of really neat hiking trails. These are some of the hookups that are available. There's also Wi-Fi available, really good Wi-Fi, very fast. I was really impressed. And we had a storm one day and it left us a nice rainbow to kind of give us some hope for the day. If you like to hike and you enjoy hiking trails, there is a trail near the Buckskin Mountain State Park that you can take. It goes up in the hills. Make sure you wear shoes that are comfortable and to also watch out for rattlesnakes. Depending on the time of year, there could always be rattlesnakes. These are some of the things you'll see next to the trail, like old ore carts and old mining equipment that was used years ago. There's a little shop uh, right in the picture over by the flag there. There's a little shop, a little ranger store that you can go in and they'll tell you all about it. Going up the lightning trail. You can see all the way back down the river there. To our campsite. Just beautiful. Our next day trip was to the Nelly Saloon, or the Nelly E Saloon, otherwise known as the Desert Bar. It's about a five mile trip off Highway 95 on a fairly smooth dirt road. Now I wouldn't recommend this road if your car has anything less than six inches of clearance underneath it, but if you're over six inches, pickup truck, car, SUV, you should be fine. This is a very popular spot for razors, can-ams, and off-road vehicles as well. There are some really fun trails in the area. One reminder though, if you go to the desert bar, remember take cash only. There's food and drinks, there's a saloon and some t-shirts you can buy, but everything is cash only. There's no ATM machines out there. And of course, in the winter when it's cold, they always have a fire to keep you warm. It's interesting because the whole place is run by solar panels and lithium batteries. It's 
It's really off grid. It's pretty cool. During the weekends on Sunday and Saturday, they have live music from one o'clock till about four o'clock in the afternoon, and lots of old cars. Another day trip we took was up to Lake Havasu City to see the famous London Bridge. Now, according to the story, from what I remember, this was taken apart piece by piece in London, every brick, and then taken over to uh, Parker or to uh, Lake Havasu and reassembled back in 1970. Next to the bridge is a wall of locks, and I tried to find out more about this, but there's a legend that goes back about a woman who lost her lover during World War I, and she started putting padlocks on bridges as a symbol of her expressing her unbreakable love for her soldier that died. And even some old London bridge or old London telephone booths you can find there on Lake Havasu City. Some great restaurants. Right where we where this picture was taken, there was a great fish and chips place. Mm -mm -mm. I think it was like $10 a plate, but it was so good. If you walk across the bridge and go to the peninsula, you can even take your car over there and drive around. There's all these old lighthouses that are based on actual, they're replicas of actual lighthouses back east. Kind of cool. All right, well, that about wraps it up for Buckskin Mountain Park, and I hope you enjoyed that tour. There's lots of great things to go see and do when you get out to Buckskin Mountain State Park. Just remember, watch out for those snakes when you're hiking. Have a great time. Catch you later.